Hello, and welcome to tutorials again. Now you may have noticed we haven't really made any tutorials in quite a while, but we have been incredibly busy. So, here's an artifacts quick tutorial for you all. So let's make a new composition, and this is a little anamorphic comp I have made. And look at it, widescreen, looks like a film, yeah. So new text and let's write toot or I can't spell today let me start that again tutorials hang on give me a sec toot orials there we go we pr press S and scale it down and then we can add a title grid and center it there we go lovely let's turn it off now, we want to make this 3D, don't we? But there isn't really any, a good way in RFX to make it 3D. So, we have to make do with yeah, messing around with it. So, first let's make a new camera. Oh, it's over here. Mm, all good. And then, let's go to the top view. And get rid of that. And click that. So we press Control D and up arrow twice, and we keep doing that until we got about 20 layers. There we go. That'll do. So now when we go to our camera. It's 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 3D-ish ish and we can orbit the camera around it but you don't really want to get too far to the side because you will start to see the edges like that and that's not very good let's just reset that by clicking P to get the position and right clicking and click reset so that doesn't look very good now does it so to make it look Mm, more 3D, that's the word. Let's take one of the layers and solo it. Uh, now it's one of the flat layers. Now we go to effect. Now yeah, I've already done that. Perspective bevel alpha. And now we, you can set the direction. I'm going to just leave it at minus 60. But then we want to increase the thickness to about 4 or 5. That'll do. Well, let's depending on how big your text is, let's leave it that. So then let's press Control C to copy it, or edit and copy. Then click on the bottom layer, apart from the one you've soloed, because that already has a bevel on it. Hold Shift and click on the top layer, so you've got all of these selected. And press Control V. Or you could just do Edit Paste, but Control V is quicker for me. Now you unsolo that layer. Boom! It is shaded. How about them apples? And then you can colour this in however you want. Let's just reset that camera quickly. So let's add some colour. So let's make a new adjustment layer effect. Colour correction. Let's go for hue and saturation. And then we go to colourize. Colour, yeah. Let's let's make it gold. No. Oh, I'm no. There needs to be a gold colour on here. Uh, I'd say that's fair enough. Uh, let's give it a glow effect. Stylize glow. Boom. Let's click alt click on that and make it 32 bit. That may increase your render times but it improves the glows and gets rid of banding. You know that horrible glow no that horrible streaks of whoa lines. That's not banding. You get when you use a gradient and that looks quite hot. 
Ähm. Hm, let's see how this renders. There we go, fiery tutorials in 3D. Let's turn that off for a second. And put it down to quarter just to keep the render times down. And I want to keep this a quick tutorial because I haven't got much time today. Let's make a quick camera move. So position, hold shift and press A to get the point of interest. Is our point of interest good? Left? Nope, let's hold shift and drag that across to keep it central. Press just to get a keyframe there. Well, Hold shift and then it will align to that. Let's make a new position, that's the end position. So just drag that across. And let's go into the camera, press C, and you can do all that orbit stuff. Let's have it go spin around it like that. Now you can see here. Ugh, that just looks horrible. So we can hide that. This will increase your render times, but it looks good by adding motion blur. But you may want to increase the speed to add more blur. If you want to hide it even more, you could just do a blur, directional blur. 90 blur length. I need to turn that on, so let's just turn off the unit saturation and glow. This quick. Why is that not blurring? There it is. So you can just animate that blur down if you want. So, quick render. Now if you really want to get rid of the uh, lines you can clearly see, which is not very... Unless you're, that's what you're looking for, but I doubt you would. You can scale the text up and then only when you duplicate it... Duplicate? What's a duplicate? When you duplicate it, press the arrow key up once and that will just create a lot more layers and it will it will have less of that in it and it doesn't look that that's an example of what not to do yeah but there you go it's 3D and you can do what you want so let's put the glow back on and the human saturation Four. As you can see, that does take quite a while. That was, and the camera's not even moving, so no motion blur. So I think we shall leave it at that. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Try not to do what I just did with all the lines. Goodbye.